Welcome back to Celebrity Radio. It's Alex Bounfield talking to some of the biggest stars and also some of my favourite people. And when the Piano Guys' brand new album landed through my doorstep the other day, I couldn't wait to put it on. It's different. It's had over 160 million views on YouTube. And uh, the Piano Guy from the Piano Guys joins us now. John Smith, how are you? Good, how are you? What a great idea this is. Basically, you take really cool tunes, whether they're new or old, you put them together and create something totally unique. Congratulations. Congratulations. Yeah, you know, one thing that uh, I think really sets us apart in the piano guys, but strangely enough, is our cellist. <laughs> and we, you know, we have an awkward name, the piano guys, because uh, it started off as a piano store called, and the name of the store was the piano guys. And the owner wanted to, uh, you know, he was a marketing genius and he wanted to show his pianos in all of these crazy places and uh, he had me come in as, as a piano artist to, to film these videos. But when we when we brought Steve into the picture, who's our cellist, I think that's when things really got cool because he, he uses an electric cello with loop pedals and effects boxes and even plays with a kick drum. And it's just, it's, it's a texture that's different than anything anyone's ever seen before. And uh, you know, when he gets done in this, in, with a song, put down 80 cello tracks with the, with his cellos and it's a one man symphony with a really unique sound it's a massive sound that you've created and I imagine live that's really the place to hear it because your stuff as I said earlier it's got sort of that anthemic feel about it hasn't it yes yes and, and you know it's something that, that cannot be duplicated by any other cellist you know if we if we got 50 cellists to come and, and give them all an electric cello and an effects box and a kick drum and a loop pedal you know it, <laughs> number one I don't know if any cellist in the world would be able to pull it off like Steve he's, he's really created textures invented new textures new ways of playing how did you get to the point where you'd had these 155 million people clicking on your songs to listen to them I mean it's an amazing achievement isn't it we really feel like we we had a lot of components and elements come together just at the perfect time in history um one one thing that that was in place was uh I had a, a solo career behind me under my belt for about 20 years with a band base uh, that we could go to to help launch things. And then we had um, a video component with Paul Anderson, um, who also owned a piano store full of pianos with a passion to get pianos in the weirdest places, the most unexpected places. We, we owned our own uh, studio. Uh, we didn't have to worry about that. And so all of these components worked together in the early days of YouTube. You know, so so we, we could hit that that time in history. We were poised with with everything in place. So we feel like it, it was re- very very fortunate. It's magnificent, isn't it? That now you don't really need a record album. You can just be an international star through the internet. Really, and that that's how we we really felt about it because people would hear our stuff on YouTube, and it, it acted just like radio play did. In, in the old days, and, and when people hear something they like on the radio, they go and look for the album, they go to iTunes, and iTunes really makes it available to the world. But so when Sony Records approached us, and when a, when a, when a top industry manager approached us uh, about signing with the record label, we, we honestly told them, we're not interested. So then what happened is they came to us, they kept coming to us with a deal that was so, so artist biased that we just couldn't turn it down. And now that has become an amazing win-win situation and another part of the component because now they're, they're really backing us with, with, some, with some great touring, um, uh, you know, and, and also record industry things. So, so we feel like we have that now too, but, but we really could have done it, you know, both ways, I think. How's the piano doing? I'm a guy that from four years old has had the piano lessons and loved to do it. Um, it it's just my thing that, that helps me relax and have fun. Um, are, are kids playing the piano now? Are there still people having lessons or is it something in the past? You know what is cool? We get a lot of feedback and comments left on these videos uh, from kids uh, saying, you know, I was, I was going to quit 
I was going to give up or uh, whatever. And I saw your video and it just lit me on fire. And I bought your sheet music and, uh, you know, they come to the website or whatever. Uh, we get comments from parents that say, man, you, you, you lit our kids on fire or our kids are begging to take cello lessons or piano lessons. We, we get, a, we get a, a lot of comments from orchestra, complaints actually from orchestra teachers that say, our cello section, you know, we don't have enough cellos for all the kids that want to play the cello. So you know, we really get this sense that uh, people are still playing, but, but and that also we're helping, a, you know, to start a, a real instrumental movement of sorts. I, you know, I, I mean, I hate to sound like lame to say that, but that's just the sense we're getting. We feel, you know, we, we have uh, 300 million views on our video, so we, we feel like you know, with these videos, it really is getting the interest out there. I love what you do and how you do it. I mean, if I could be anybody in the world, I'd love to be Billy Joel because I just think it's the coolest thing in the world to be able to just sit down by yourself and entertain an audience. And that's the gift you've got, isn't it? You don't actually uh, need fun. anything more than just you and your fingers. Uh, it's, it's really fun. And Billy Joel's a hero of mine as well. Incredible. Um, where do we go from here then? I mean, you've got the the videos on YouTube. People can find you there. The new album's out now. Um, a, a big tour plan? Because I could imagine this could really work in an arena because, as I say, with a huge PA system and the cellos and the pianos and all the other guys uh, on drums. Like I say, Sony Records has been amazing. They've, they've helped us uh, arrange. And our, and our tour man, our, uh, our manager, he's, a, he's an industry mogul, and he's, they've been able to put, get us touring. Um, and uh, we just completed a Europe tour with sold out shows. Uh, we were in Turkey, Moscow, Milan. We ended up in England, here in the UK, and uh, yeah, it's, it's incredible. Last night in Manchester, we had one of the most magical experiences. You know, I've, I've been doing concerts for 20 plus years, and last night will go down as one of the top 10. I mean, it was just amazing. What is that alchemy when it works better some nights than others then? What was it last night that made it so special? The hall was just beautiful. It was this 2,400 seat hall, but everybody felt just close to us. And you know, in the front, the front, the front 10 rows seemed to be just rabid, rabid fans. <laughs> so we felt this just enormous energy just right next to us and just felt surrounded. And uh, you know, just everything just, off each other and it just becomes this amazing experience I suppose here in the UK the big thing that broke you through was the Thompson Holidays TV ad they used Simon and the Ogre didn't they and, and again that kind yeah. of endorsement can't hurt because people are then curious last Christmas I don't know whether you know but we had uh, the, the John Lewis adverts which were the most viewed adverts in history in Britain uh, more interesting than the uh, actual programs that were in between them people were tuning in <laughs> to watch adverts they've become a business in their own in their own right haven't they we've had a lot of people say they found us through the Simon the you know, that uh, Thompson advertisement, but, you know, for Thompson Holiday. So that, yeah, that's been huge. That's interesting, isn't it? How you create something new, because let's face it, you're using pianos that were invented quite a few years ago. The cello is a relatively old instrument, um, but you're making it new. And I suppose that's what's important. You've got to make it cool to get the kids interested. Mm, that's, that's how we, that's, that's, that's our goal. We love to take old and, and make it hip and take hip and throw some old people are loving it absolutely well I love listening to this CD um, you open with Titanium which of course is such a huge hit over here and you do it so so wonderfully you put it with Pavane which uh, again fits brilliantly how do you think of that taking an absolutely modern tune and putting it with something very old and combining it to sound completely original you know when we when we start with the we, we start and focus on the original tune that, that, that we like and sometimes it just stays true to the original tune not all of the tunes have you know classical elements but more often than not our classical background Steve and I both have uh, classical training and the, the, and the classical background comes through or you know we, we think of a, of a tune that that we have grown to love from from the classics and we think wow that fits perfectly listen how perfectly that fits here uh, you know and when it, whenever that happens it, it feels like a real gold mine but that it's amazing it more often than not we, we find uh, just a classical gem that, that just fits perfectly with, with one of these 
these modern teams that our kids have told us to, to check out. I thought your version of A Thousand Years was tremendous and Bring Him Home is always beautiful. Congratulations on this new album. It's out now. Uh, Over the Rainbows featured on it, The Cello Wars, of course, Moonlight. As I say, A Thousand Years is just beautiful. And What Makes You Beautiful is also on this brand new album by The Piano Guys. It's in your stores now and available on iTunes and places like that. Congratulations, John Smith, on coming up with something new and brilliant. Thanks for coming on the show and I hope to see you live soon. Come and come to Nottingham and I'll, I'll definitely come and see you because this is a, a show worth seeing. I, I just know it. Thank you. Thank you so much.